Hi there folks, Simon here. This is TAC University, a series where I go over some tips and tricks and maybe it's just some things that I've learned along the way of playing TAC to maybe help you bring your game to a higher level. Today we're going to talk TAC terms. Yes, that was very alliterative. I figured it was important to cover a lot of these common TAC terms that I use in my videos, especially when commentating games, so that people can have a better understanding of what it is that I'm actually talking about, especially if they're new to the game. So let's get right into these terms. A flat or a flat stone is any flat piece on the board, as long as it is laying flat. And these pieces count towards your road. A standing stone or a wall is any piece that is standing up. They are most commonly referred to as walls. These do not count as part of a road, but can block them. Reserves are all of these pieces over here, all of these flat stones that have yet to be played. Those are the reserves of a player. A capstone is this singular piece that can flatten walls and count as part of a road and cannot be captured. You have one capstone per player on a 5x5 and 6x6 board, and you have two capstones per player on a 7x7 or 8x8 board. The 3x3 and 4x4 boards have zero capstones. A road is a connection from one side of the board to the opposite side of the board. A capture is when one piece captures the other piece. For example, if this white piece were to capture this other piece. A capture could also be a capstone moving on top of a piece, or a wall moving on top of another piece. All of those are captures as long as one or more pieces land on another existing piece. A smash is when a capstone crushes or smashes a wall. This can happen where a capstone crushes their own wall or an opposing wall. In this case, that would be a smash on your own wall. A stack of pieces is any number of pieces, including one, that are all on the same space. So, in this case, this is a stack of one, two, three, four, five pieces. And this is a stack of one piece. And this is a stack of two, even though one of them is a wall. Just like this is a stack of five, even though one of them is a capstone. Captives, or prisoners, are pieces not of the same color as the top stone in a stack. For example, there is one white captive in this stack. There are two white captives in this stack. That's because black controls each of these stacks and white stones are below them. The carry limit in any particular game is how many pieces you can pick up from one stack at any one time. A stack can be as high as possible, but a carry limit is equal to the length of the board. In this case, the board is six by six, so we may only pick up six pieces at a time from any one stack. So if it were Black's turn and they wanted to move this stack around, they could pick up the top six pieces, one, two, three, four, five, and six, but they could not pick up that seventh piece down here because that would be beyond the carry limit. Tinuay is tax form of checkmate. It is when there is nothing that the opposing player can do to stop a win, particularly a road win. This term actually comes from the books in the Kingkiller Chronicle by Patrick Rothfuss, where Tinuay is a city 
that it has said all roads lead to Tinue. And so back in April of 2016, I coined the term Tinue as our new checkmate, and the term has stuck. And that is what we use to describe when there is nothing an opposing player can do to stop a road, much like this situation here. Spreading a stack is when you take a stack and you spread the pieces out, leaving behind just your pieces on the tops of the spaces you pass, just like that. A throw is when you take a stack and leave behind your opponent's pieces in control of certain stacks. In this case, we'll take this stack, lift it up, drop one piece, and then drop our opponent's piece, and then finish with our piece to complete that road. That was a throw. And a throw doesn't always have to complete a road, just often does. A hard capstone, or hard cap, is when you have your capstone on top of a stack with your own piece on top. So in this case, let's say that there was a wall right here, our capstone could smash the wall and retain control of the stack it left. That is a hard capstone or a hard cap. A soft cap or soft capstone is when a capstone is on top of an opposing piece or on top of a stack that would otherwise be controlled by your opponent. In this case, Black is on top of a white piece. That is a soft capstone. A citadel is when you have four pieces arranged in a square like this, a two by two square. That is a citadel and it's a particularly strong formation of flat stones. Momentum is a concept that describes who can make a road first. This can also be described as the person who can force their opponent to react first. That is the person with momentum. An anchor point is a piece connecting to one edge of the board. In this case, this spot here on D1 would be an anchor point for Black's road just like F1 would be an anchor point for White's connection, or F4 would also be an anchor point. A capture war is when pieces try to capture one particular space and result in multiple captures on that space. For example, if White wants to capture here onto C4 and they do this, Black then makes that capture, White makes this capture, black makes this capture, white makes that capture, that is a capture war. A drawbridge is when you move a wall stack to create a road. In this case, if we take this black stack with a wall on top and spread it out, that created a road, and that is a drawbridge. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in to the next video in this TAC University series. And as always, be sure to check out the description of this video to find all the resources for TAC, like the TAC subreddit, and especially the TAC Discord, which is the community hub where you will find all sorts of people to play with and discuss all things TAC. And you can even play asynchronous games, that is games without a timer, that you can play even one move per day in the Discord server without even using any external programs just right there into the Discord server. It's really fun, really easy. It's a great way to play with some folks and get better at TAC without all that pressure of having maybe a time limit or carving out that time during the day to play on playtac.com. Again, all the resources are there. Playtac.com, the Discord server, the subreddit, my Instagram, my Twitch, all those fun things that are my social media and all the general tack links are all there. How to play videos and all that jazz. Be sure to check that out. And until next time, have a great day and happy tacking.